An app with an ugly front end is like an ugly girl. She may have a nice personality, but you never give her a chance. And in all seriousness, having a good front end is critical for people to come to your website, to use your application and to purchase stuff from you. And let's face it, only a small amount of people will care about the small back end stuff. And most people will judge your app by firstly how it looks and then how it runs. And so what I'd like to do in this video is just share the principles of building a beautiful website. These are just a couple of things that I have learned over the past year of coding. And if you have more inputs into this and you also learned something that you wanna talk about too, then I'd like to know more in the comment section. Now, the first trick you can apply to build a beautiful website is something I call the consistency trick. What a lot of new developers tend to do is they're all over the place. You know, one page, has like a blue background. The next page has a yellow background. And for example, maybe one button looks rounded while the other one's like a square. They have different fonts. When in reality, a great way to make a site good looking and probably the most important thing is to make everything look consistent. And to be consistent, you want to have similar fonts on all your pages, similar color schemes, and a similar feel on all of them. As you can see here, right? If I go to like the settings page, it looks similar to the roadmap page. You know, we got the different cards back here. We have the different color cards as well. So here you can see that the background is like this darkish black. And if you go to the settings page, it's a darkish black as well. And at the top here, you can see that the fonts all look the same. They are this font, I think it's called Geist. It's just the one I like to use, but it's throughout the whole app. It just looks consistently good. And so in your application, try your best to make it look consistent throughout the whole app. A good rule of thumb is to always ask yourself if this looks like a part of your application. Like, does this page look like the homepage? And these are very subtle things, right? Like, you know, having it to be similar. I know a lot of people that don't know this and don't do this at all. Another trick you can apply to build beautiful websites is to use icons. This one I'm guessing you know more about, but adding icons just makes the site more lively and fun. So for example here, right at the, at the top here where we have like a publish and a delete button for the course setup. Imagine if this just said delete. Sure, it could work and it would be fine, I guess. Having the delete button just makes it lively, you know, makes it more fun and enjoyable to do. It's really hard to explain icons in like a normal way i guess it's just personal preference but just implementing them makes the site more readable and digestible which we want here i even changed it right now it just doesn't look good in my opinion it just doesn't look good with the delete word sure it's readable sure it's digestible but this just looks a lot better and i usually get my icons from either material ui or something like react icons it doesn't really matter a lot of them are there implement some icons okay don't overdo it obviously but add them where they need to be and the final trick you can apply to building beautiful sites is to just simplify simplification does not mean you're stupid for example i'm a big fan of comedy and the best comedians are the ones that can simplify a sentence and make comedy look really easy and even in all aspects of life even coding. When you see a coder that writes a very short piece of code that can do a lot, that is very impressive. Like as a beginner coder, you write inefficient code. Maybe you write like a 30 line function that realistically might need 10. And the same goes for building UI. I typically find that simple is better. And it's very easy to want to add a UI library like Asternity throughout your entire page. Like I could have easily like added something this crazy throughout the whole app. But even as you can see, I only added something this nice in the landing page. Even in the roadmap, there's not much to it. Just a cool looking card with some buttons over here and then just a difficulty level. And as you progress in getting better at UI and really trying to hone in on making a site look better, you will realize just naturally that less is more. And not only does your site look better when it's more simple, but it's also more digestible to the user. You have to think about how the user is gonna see it. And if I'm a user on someone's site and I wanna like buy something, the more confusing it is to me, the less likely I'm gonna purchase something, right? So just be simple, go with a basic font, a basic color scheme, a basic UI, not a lot of images and clear writing. That's all to it. There's probably some things I'm missing that I haven't talked about, so let me know if I did. But yeah, just a couple of things. If you want to join the Discord server and be a part of the testimonials page, then um, join the Discord. We have like everything from an awesome community to people starting businesses to job opportunities on there. It's just an amazing community of amazing people. And also, if you want the free developer roadmap, I will also leave that in the description below. But yeah, happy coding. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.